Welcome back to the 100 million Dogecoin studio. I'm just kidding, but today I'm gonna be your internet detective. You can call me Mad Mike because my name's Mike and today I'm Mad. I'm sure you all know Final Stand or Matt Wallace and Miles G Investments. You might know them from their YouTube channels or you might know them from such scams as Tiger King Coin, Blinu, or more recently, Accept Doge. In this video, I'm going to be exposing these two criminals for the horrible people that they are so that you don't get scammed out of any more money by these two crooks. I've called these guys out before, but unfortunately, I don't have a large enough reach yet to warn as many people as I would like to. So if you don't mind, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button because I really need your help trying to spread the word about these two so that more people don't get taken advantage of. Thank you so much for your help and let's get right into it. First, I'd like to give a really huge shout out to Sir Doge of the Coin. You can find him on Twitter at Doge Official CEO. You're doing a really great job and you're living up to your nickname here of Protector of the Coin. So keep up the good work, you noble knight. This guy has pretty much single-handedly been leading the charge and standing up against Matt Wallace for months now, and it's great to see people finally starting to take notice. Recently, he put out this tweet calling out Matt Wallace on his recent scam and thankfully bringing it to my attention and setting into motion an uprising in the Dogecoin community that has been a long time coming. I think this might be Matt's final stand because this boy is probably getting sued and the whole Dogecoin Twitter community is coming after him. Also, he might be getting his own episode on a popular YouTube detective channel. More on that in a minute. So Matt, as you know, has gained a lot of followers to the Dogecoin community, and he gained almost a quarter million subscribers in under six months because Dogecoin was going to the moon at that time. But when the price started to go down, so did his revenue for his channel, and that meant he needed to look for new sources of income. But what is a man supposed to do when he has no talent and nothing to actually contribute to the world? Well, if you're a shitty person, then you could take advantage of your quarter million subscribers and swindle them out of their hard-earned money, and that's exactly what he decided to do. You remember Upshot and how he created a rug pull coin only to disappear, pulling the rug out from under his community, and then reappear only a couple months later to the warm embrace of a forgiving community that for some reason still loved him. Well, Matt took this idea and he ran with it, but by working under a team, he could claim ignorance and say that you know the risk, and it's not his fault that the rug got pulled. So he started off with what I think should have been a really big red flag, because he started to promote Tiger King coin right before the release of the season two of Tiger King. Tiger King coin was created to help Joe Exotic with his lawyer fees so that he could appeal his case and try to get out of jail for trying to kill someone and killing tigers on his property. As I said in one of my previous videos exposing Matt for his shenanigans, this does not represent the Dogecoin motto of do only good every day. As you can see, after Matt started talking about Tiger King coin, it did have a huge pump, but after Matt and his crew pulled the rug, now it's down 99% from its all-time high. Then I guess he got the idea that the recipe for a successful scam was you have to take a popular thing like the Tiger King show or Dogecoin itself and make that your own product so that you can be the sole beneficiary instead of sharing it with the community that it's supposed to be a part of. That's when he came up with the next scheme, which is Doge X. The official Doge X OpenSea page says that Dogecoin is on its way to $1 and now Doge X has arrived to conquer the NFT space for Dogecoin and thus begins the theme of supposedly helping Dogecoin with these bogus projects. It goes on to say, Dogex brings the Doge legends to life in the form of 10,000 collectible characters on a mission from Mars. And for more details to visit dogex.ai. So I followed the link to this website and it took me to a page with a bunch of links that don't even work. I wanted to know more about this so I googled it and found another website for this project at dogex.com. This website looks a little more put together as you can see, but it too is incomplete. And for some reason, these videos showing how the project works are private. So it looks like this project is just a cash grab as well, and it doesn't have a serious development team. But as you can see, there is a 17% sell tax with a 3% going to the marketing team, which traps you in the project unless it goes up at least 17%. And that's on top of your initial 14% buy-in tax. That's your money going straight into Matt's pocket. I don't know very much more about this project, but if you know anything else about the Doge X and how they're treating their community, let me know in the comments below so I can do an update. If you think this is bad, he's just getting started and this next scam is really going to make you mad. Sticking with the same theme, he moved on to create Baby Lambo Inu or Blinu. 
And this is where he really started to make money, but where he also really started to mess up. At this point, he's been getting away with this for a while, and his cockiness is causing him to slip. Then once it does that, a lot of new people will come and our community will basically trick people into putting up, well not really trick, I mean, our, our community. First he slipped up by accidentally saying out loud that he's trying to trick people into the market, and then he made possibly his biggest mistake, which was teaming up with Miles G Investments. And this is where it gets really juicy. You see, Miles G is used to robbing people, and these days he's getting really good at it. He's been in the game for quite some time, and even has experience with kidnapping girls and stealing Rolexes from them. The victim was even quoted as saying, I thought he would kill me for a stupid Rolex. These are very dangerous people. This is not the kind of person you want to team up with or to trust to inform you about what to do with your money. But as we know, Matt Wallace doesn't do his own research. In this video of him promoting Blinu, he did admit that he's on the marketing team, and he said that it was very risky just to cover his ass. But that doesn't change the fact that right after he made this video promoting Blinu and saying that it would go up 100x, on the very same day, the rug was pulled and they walked away from the project with enough profit that Matt was able to buy a house with your money. And Blinu is now down 99% as well. Are you starting to notice a pattern yet? Well, at this point, Matt has seemingly streamlined the system and gotten really good at filling his pockets with your hard-earned cash. So why would he stop here? At this point, I'm sure Matt feels unstoppable, and he's even gotten cocky enough to put his face right on the website of his next planned scheme. But this time, it didn't work out so smoothly. Matt and Miles have received the benefits of much success by dragging the hard-earned reputation of the Dogecoin community through the mud. And this time, they decided to throw all their tactics straight at the problem. This time they named their project Accept Dogecoin, using the actual Dogecoin logo with Elon Musk sunglasses as the image for their shit token. According to their website, Accept Dogecoin is the first of its kind cryptocurrency with a mission to get Dogecoin accepted by companies across the globe. Time to change the game forever, it says. They're using the Dogecoin community and the image along with the hype that Elon Musk brings to the community and combining it with their strategy of making projects that are supposedly supposed to help Dogecoin gain adoption. It's a trifecta of fuckery and this time the community just wasn't having it. Sir Doge lit them up and shortly the whole community was Doge piling on. The community was aghast as people started to realize that they had been bamboozled. Billy Marcus even let him have it, informing Matt that the Dogecoin Foundation is looking into legal action against him. Billy responded to a since-deleted tweet by Matt Wallace saying, Matt, literally you are breaking the law. The Dogecoin Foundation is looking into taking legal action against you. You are not helping Dogecoin knock it off with this positivity thing. There is nothing positive about you being a criminal, the thing you are doing. Matt has since tried to clap back, calling Billy a very bitter and unhappy person and trying to throw the allegations back at Billy, saying that his NFT project has fell by 99%. But this will not get him out of trouble, and he must be crazy if he thinks that the Dogecoin community is going to choose him over Billy Marcus. Yesterday, CoffeeZilla's notifications undoubtedly exploded as people started tagging him left and right to expose these bozos. The Accept Dogecoin website has since been deleted in a panic, but not before everyone other than Matt and Miles removed their names from the website for fear of being associated with these two. Matt and Miles went on the defensive with Matt making a very nervous, fast explanation on his live stream, and Miles commenting on my post saying that money hasn't changed him and he has since deleted the comment. Well, I'm sure money hasn't changed Miles because he's always been a dirtbag. And Matt has had his life changed for sure because money definitely helped him move out of his mom's house. But we'll see how long Matt's riches last before he's sent home crying to his mommy when CoffeeZilla releases his new episode about Matt and he's finally exposed for the manipulative con man that he is. Let me know in the comments if you guys have been ripped off by Matt Wallace or if you have any information that could help us bring him down. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I can't wait to update you on this developing situation. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.